way. Over there, over there. That way. Put it over there. Yeah, thank oh, you. okay. It's convenient. They even offer on-the-spot service. That's right. That's why I like them most of all. They offer all-around service, you know? Delivering this stuff and installing it. Oh. So you bought all this diving equipment and diving suits from an online delivery service? Yeah. That's the service I like most, on-call service. It saves time. Oh, hey, that's great. today, I've got something else to say. Mm. I officially announce that from today on, you're not only a, a concierge in our pet lover's paradise, but also in charge of the diving center. Okay? Thank you, Davey. <laughs> I'll do my best. I won't let you down. <laughs> Look at those cosmetics and the snacks. They're benefits for the manager of this place. Well, Olive, you probably know I think very highly of you. <laughs> I know. Davey, <laughs> thank you for having faith in me. Thank you so Mom, much. I'll show you around. Hi, Davey. Olive. Hi, Coco. What brings you here? <laughs> Davey, the diving center is ready. Davey, I want to learn diving. Really? Mm hmm No way. Why can't Why I? can't she learn it? It's a diving school. Why don't we have any students in the diving center? But she's the leader of the security department. She's really occupied. She has no extra time. Davey, haven't you appointed me as manager of the diving center? Can't I make the decision to recruit a student? Come on, Coco is my best friend here. Can't I grant her wish to learn how to dive with me? Coco, come here when you're free. I'll teach you, okay? Thank you, Olive. Well, I'm gonna take her to try out the new equipment. I'll go with you. Okay, let's go. your distance from me while diving why do you keep following me but it's my job to keep you safe let's come dive again tomorrow okay i'm ready at any time same here coco you must come all right okay. wait you can't come why is that we just ordered some replacement security equipment we need more okay you should go buy more i already bought some you bought some mm -hmm. then keep an eye on the monitors i've connected my phone with all the monitors i can monitor the menu <laughs> you, you you did it on purpose how could you say that to her? You're the manager of this hotel, while Coco is the security leader here. You should know. It's her duty to protect you. All right. I know you're on the same side. Tomorrow, forget about diving. Coco, get prepared for continuing your dog testing. What? Davey, you're ruining the atmosphere. Think about it. Our diving center just opened. We should encourage people to come, am I right? Mm -hmm. But I don't see any point in that. I am in charge of the diving center. Does my word mean nothing to you? All right, all right. You make the call, huh? <laughs> okay, let's go. Seven. Seven. How's your training going lately? Does Bobby take good care of you? Hmm? Hmm? Seven. Why don't you answer me? <sighs> Are we suffering the seven-year itch? Seems you don't want to talk to me. All right, then. Go to sleep. Sleep well. Yeah.
Listen, from today on, you'll receive search and rescue training skills. Can you do it, everybody? Okay, Bobby, let's get this party started. There's no rush. I still need some help with the training. What does that mean? It's a pro assistant to help the dog trainer in search and rescue skills. I can do that. All right, it's yours. Okay? Yay, it's my first promotion. To be a search and rescue dog, the most important thing is courage. So as to deal with all kinds of situations. Let's start by developing their bravery. Okay. Hmm. They're focusing on eating. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> then the next item is anti interference practice. Before you begin your diving, you should learn some necessary first aid knowledge. Oh, yeah. Oh. First aid training. Yes. It's very important. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. You should learn it by heart. Okay. okay. Let's get started. Then. Okay. The first thing you need to know is mouth to mouth. What? Mouth to mouth? Davey, you heard me correctly. You'll learn mouth to mouth resuscitation. Uh, I quit. Davey. Remember, I'm your instructor. If you refuse to learn this, I'm afraid I can't teach you anymore. Hey, listen, Olive. You're abusing your power here, aren't you? Remember, I'm still your boss. Can we please just skip to the next one? When people are diving, there's an increased danger of water inhalation. If that happens, mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation is vital. How can we skip it? Oh, all right. Let's do it then. Okay, Coco will be playing the victim first. You give her mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Do it just as I told you. Go on. She had a heart attack or something? Look, uh, just look no, at her. No, 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 no. I did it. I'm just a little bit nervous. Then lie down again. Oh. <laughs> it feels like I'm gonna make out with her. Davy, you are a man. Don't waste time here. Do it. <laughs> Push me. Was that okay? Okay. Now next, you should change your roles. Go ahead. That's it. It's enough. Next, next, next. I've had enough of this. Uh, fine. Remember to keep practicing this after class. It may save your life someday. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Come, come with me. This is a breathing regulator. This here is an ordinary diving suit. You are both well aware that everyone has his own diving equipment like this. But when you're in the water, you may not have enough oxygen gas in your tank. What will you do to survive? It may happen sometimes. So two people must share a single regulator. What? We share one regulator? Won't, won't that be unsanitary? You would be choking to death underwater. And you still care about sanitation? <sighs> Come on. Put it on. This is your one. Coco, take this. All right, all right. This can't be worse than mouth to mouth. I shouldn't have asked you to teach me. I am the only qualified instructor. Hey, 
Bobby. Mary was upset by the firecrackers. Simon is comforting her. Look, they're really a perfect match. Hey, Bobby, can we just skip this part? It's too much. I'm begging you. Mary is scared. It's okay. Seven's there with her, huh? Don't worry. Mm. <laughs> Come here. Seven, go. <laughs> That's all for anti interference practice. Next, you're going to search for and rescue the victim. <sighs> but first, we need someone to play the victim. Let me, I can do it. You can't. The ground's dirty. That might be mad if you were in the float. Sage can do it. He's the best actor here. Good idea. Hey, where's Sage? Where is he? You want him through the physical training. I'll go find Sage. Okay. Get 
You little brat! You played a trick on us! I'm gonna teach you a lesson! Go away! Nisha! Help! Anybody help! <laughs> Sage, sit. Sage, where have you been? We're practicing here. You can't run off for fun. You'll be the victim for them to search for and rescue. You hear me? Are you ready in your mouth? Let's get started. Okay. Are you ready now? Okay. Ready, go! made any progress. What? What's going on here? Are you training dogs? What on earth are they looking for? And to be honest, Charlie, I actually would train them to be search and rescue dogs. Search and rescue dogs? But, Bobby, how, how come you want these dogs to be search and rescue dogs all of a sudden? One of my classmates works in the earthquake response team. He told me they're in an urgent need of search and rescue dogs, so I want to help him out. Dad, please don't say a single word to Olive. If she finds out the truth, she won't allow Seven to join the search and rescue team. I won't. Don't worry, okay? I'll keep it among us only. It's our little secret. Hmm? <laughs> All right, you go back to your training. Perhaps someday, if our pipe cop ever fails, we can build a search and rescue team. <laughs> Nemo. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Dad. Bye. <laughs> Listen, Nemo, today they're going to take anti nausea practice. Sniffer dogs have to take buses to disaster areas, you know? Got it. Let's go then. Mm. Bobby! <laughs> Where are you going? Going for a drive. Really? Then I'll come as well. Aren't you busy running the diving center? You better stay here. Everything in the diving center is settled. I want to go with you. <laughs> what now? Get in the car. Okay. Let's go. Fury around. I'm really missing his face. He's a traitor. Just let him go. You better figure out a way to find the shipwreck. Without Fury, we don't even have a slim chance. Wait. Right. 
Mr. Lee still has Motor, doesn't he? Yeah, that's right. Motor can help us. Motor. All right. Today you're gonna take part in real drills, searching for and rescuing the victim. Everybody get repaired. Bobby, what kind of a contest is it? You've worked on it for days. It's done. All over. They did a great job. You can have some rest. That is it? How about we go for a walk? Okay. This is the first time you've asked me. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. Come on. <laughs> Today, I'll be in charge of training you. <sighs> so gorgeous. Bobby, well, you, do you know how I feel? What do you mean? You, wait a sec. Just a minute. Take good care of him. Uh, don't worry, boss. We get along very well with Motor. Right? Okay. Receive all factory training again. Your target is in a safe place. You should go find them. Come, love us. Fury. Smell it. Okay. Listen to my orders. One, two, three, go now. Costume. Seven and I ditched it here. <laughs> it's so new. Why did you? Count the bottles. How many? 
Seven found the most bottles. Neither food nor fury found any bottles. You should both work harder. <laughs> all right. That's all for today. Okay? Yes. This is yours. Please enjoy. Please try it. Hope you like it. I've been watching him. All your but comments. haven't learned anything. Much appreciated. What on earth does he want from our hotel? Please enjoy. Eat more. Mm, okay. It tastes great. No. Hope you like it. There must be something. I put wrong. it here. Okay, okay. Wait. He hasn't sent food to his dog yet. Ronnie and Julie. Oh, I made a mistake. All basic courses are complete, and next we'll be finding traces of corpses. But I guess we can't. <sighs> hey, Bobby. Is the task too difficult? What are you sighing for? It's not difficult. It's just part of the regular training for search and rescue. The problem is, we don't have a corpse to use. What are the traces of corpses? We teach them professional skills, so that they can find the dead or the victim's trace as soon as possible when any disaster happens. The traces of corpse I just mentioned is blood and flesh. Blood? Hmm. Mm, I've got an idea. Hmm? <clears throat> Mr. Lee, your motor is just too strong. We can't control him at all. Didn't you say you and Motor got along very well? Mr. Lee, Motor has a strong sense of allegiance. We can't even board the ship. You good for nothings. Do I have to do everything myself? Why did I hire you in the first place? Calm down, boss. Boss, don't be angry. I know it's not convenient for you to put out to sea with Motor, but we found out that Bobby is busy recently training a pack of dogs. Mm. So I think they're also looking for the ship. So I have an idea. We can reap the spoils of his effort. That's right. Am I right? Nemo and Seven heading to at this hour. <laughs> I was too far away and couldn't hear anything that they were saying. Olive, is there anything unusual about Bobby's actions lately? Mm, nothing unusual, same as he ever was. Then what is he using all those bloody meat bones for? I heard from Nemo that Bobby told him to train dogs to participate in a competition next week. Could it be possible that those things are just props for training? Given all existing evidence, Bobby ordered... Nemo to do bad things for him in the name of training dogs for next week's contest. There's another possibility. 
Could Bobby maybe have a split personality? One identity is to train dogs, while the other identity is a psycho killer living on raw meat and blood. He'll show his true colors on every dark and windy night, asking Nemo to find bloody things for his dinner. <laughs> Tavy, you've watched too many horror movies. You'd like to think you're Sherlock Holmes, right? <laughs> That's right. It's nothing but a joke. To ease the mood a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. You're exaggerating things here. But we can't lower our guard. I'll go find out what on earth they're working on. Okay, okay, leave. Davy, I'll go on patrol. Uh, yeah, go, 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 go. <sighs> Nemo, mm -hmm. I should thank you for getting these props for this exercise. Practice tracing corpses is a realistic drill, which is very important for sniffer dogs. Thank you very much. A friend in need is a friend indeed. We're buddies. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Your dad be angry if he finds out? Nope. He'll support me no matter what I do. He's my dad. You can just focus on the training. I'll take care of everything else. Okay. Listen here. I'll go now to prepare the scene for tracing corpses. Okay. You and the dogs, stand by. You got it? Okay. You guys behave yourselves, all right? Be quiet. Quiet. Will be the first. Seven. Seven? Go back and find the meat, understand? Go! Seven, you found another one! Good, Seven. Good. Go back and keep searching. Seven has found two boats. He's great. Seven's gifted with searching abilities. I think he might be the best. It's a pity. The Olive doesn't want him to be a sniffer dog. Why should he be a sniffer dog? He's been doing very well in the hotel. But he can save more lives. Then why doesn't Olive want him to be a search and rescue dog? Because if he becomes a search and rescue dog, she'll have to separate from him. So if she knows we're training Seven to be a search and rescue dog, she'll definitely be angry. What will definitely make me angry? Uh, no, no. Nemo said, if we don't work hard, to get seven a place in the contest, you might be angry. Oh. Bobby. Hmm? What on earth are you doing? Well, it's been a long day for the dogs, so I brought some meat to reward them. But why is it all covered up with dirt? I want to pee. Just for fun. Just for fun? Hmm? Well... How about you count me in? Okay. Mm. Davy. 
What are you doing here? Your work finished? I just finished up a patrol. Oh. TV. Are you busy today? Not really. I want to invite you to a dive. What do you think? <sighs> But our diving coach Olive isn't here. What's the point of doing that? I've been studying very hard. I'm confident I can teach you. You should know you can count on me. Teaching diving is not your duty. All right. If you're not busy right now, how about doing your test for playing with dogs? Huh? Uh, time to go on rounds again. See you, Davy. Hey, Nima. What's next on the list for training? Jumping through the hoop course. Okay. Listen carefully. Go ahead. Listen carefully. Jump through the hoops. Ah? Uh? Huh? Bobby. Hmm? As I know, jumping through hoops is very easy for them. But how come they ran off after hearing your orders? They may be hungry and want to look for food. Stop lying to me. Seven would never disobey your orders, no matter how tired and hungry he is. Didn't you say you're in charge of the diving center now? Can you teach me diving? Seriously? Yeah. You're not joking. I'm not. Good. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Nemo. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nemo. Keep on training them. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> hey. What are you looking at? I'm not even in the pool yet. Stop staring at it. Huh. Are you upset? Come on. Clear your head first. We've got business to do, okay? okay. Get prepared. Jump in here. Go up again. Bobby, prepare yourself for the dive, all right? <sighs> Can we not do that? I'm really worried. What are you whispering? go diving. Let's just do it here. You <laughs> crazy. I haven't done warm-ups yet. There's no need for that. Go, go, go. How is it? It feels good to empty your head, right? Back then, every time that I was upset, I always went to dive. Because when I spent more time under the water, I could always think of the beautiful sceneries in the sea and forget about all the unhappy memories. I wanted to stay in the sea as long as I could. But you're different. You're more of an enigma. Without Seven and my friendship, one might think you have autism. Why do you like diving so much? Because it's my life's dream. I want to constantly break my records in free diving, until I become old and can't swim anymore. But you could assume diving is a hobby. Why are you so addicted to it? Honestly, I don't want to tell you this. You may think I'm too emotional. Then don't say it. I'm not interested in it anyway. Hey, that's not what I expected. Can't you humor me for once? I was about to tell you the truth, but now, how can I speak about it? Uh. Please tell me. I really want to know it. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. That's what a couple should be like. What? Um. 
Actually, actually, it's all because of my dad. He was a big fan of freediving. Back then, he and I often went freediving together. I still remember. I was only 18 years old when I first went diving. It's a gift for my coming of age. But you know now, my dad is up there. It's a pity he couldn't realize his dreams anymore. That's why he passed his dream to me.